Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, and today we're with Robert Vallis, who is the CEO and Director of Signature Resources, uh, ticker is SGU on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Robert? I'm well, Chris. Thank you. Let's talk about Lingman Lake in northwestern Ontario. Uh, I, I, I will admit that I, I am a shareholder, so I'll, I'll, everything up front. Um, I know that from uh, last summer, as uh, the wildfires uh, were raging across uh, Canada, Northwest Ontario, you guys were slightly impacted by that, but you finished off the year strong with some great drill results. Maybe you can just uh, give some highlights from uh, last year. Certainly, Chris. Uh, yeah, was a, last year was, it was a lot of mountain climbing for us, definitely some challenges, but a lot of uh, great rewards along the way. So as you had mentioned, post the wildfires that were out throughout the summer, throughout Canada, uh, we were able to get back in, uh, complete a lot of the airborne and ground-based geophysics that, that we needed and wanted to do to help vector our drilling, got our both our drills up and running. That's two of our own drill rigs. Uh, had sidestepped a lot of logistical challenges last year emanating from COVID by having our own drill equipment, got that drilling going and, and uh, were able to pump out some pretty strong results uh, towards the end of the year, demonstrating what we were targeting, which was uh, that the mineralization is continuing to depth uh, below the existing mineralization, which was delineated down to about 180 meters. Uh, so in parallel with that, there was a lot of other work happening. I think principally uh, the work that was happening was a lot of data compilation, not only new data that we were collecting, but also a lot of the historical data, bringing that in out of uh, written hand notes and, and old uh, sources that were validated from newer drilling, uh, but into newer modern formats that we could begin to more holistically analyze the gold system that, that we have and that the existing mineralization sits in as it uh, was identified by, by the old timers. Now, for those who might not know your company, uh, you control the old Lingman Lake mine that has a very old historical resource. Uh, and you have a fairly large land package uh, of, uh, I think, around 270 square kilometers. So you've got a lot of positives with uh, the potential you know, from the old mine itself with also regional exploration. You recently raised a million dollars, sorry, you, you announced a million, but you, you raised more. Uh, what are you gonna direct those funds towards? Uh, well, first, uh, just, just to, to tighten up the, that the Lingman Lake project uh, is a historic discovery. There were shaft, three sublevels put in, there were bulk samples taken out. Uh, I had noted uh, frequently, five of those grading uh, five, uh, sorry, four 500 pound bulk samples coming out grading 19 grams per ton, but that never got into operation. So I, as a mine engineer, I hesitate to call it a mine, uh, but I understand where you're coming from. It was about as close as you can get to an operating mine that they that you could get uh, before they ran out of money and, and it went into stasis. Uh, so from that, um, yeah, that, that data collection and result from that brought us into 2021 uh we knew at that point that there was something uh significant about the data that we were able then to look at that had been compilated and gathered throughout 2021 uh and what we had found was something quite compelling and and that was enough uh to convince myself and subsequently the board to advance what i had already announced to be an initial 43101 at the end of 2022 to advance that to now uh, and so that was announced, I believe, the end of February, uh, and uh, and that's what we're working on. We secured Wood Engineering to do that, formerly AMAC, one of the largest engineering firms out there. Uh, that that's rare, and I think it speaks to the quality of our team as well as as the asset we're working with. Uh, so to get us through that, to fund that change in paradigm, if you will, coming into this year, readjusting our strategy and our and our approach. Uh, for the balance of the year, uh, we decided to raise some what I call bridge funding. Uh, uh, we did aim for a million, as you said, but we were well oversubscribed. It was closed at, I believe, just under two and a half million around there. A um, lot of our existing shareholders, a lot of new shareholders as well, uh, particularly excited about this, this paradigm shift and, and what's to come. Uh, so that should carry us through and finance as well into Q3, uh, early Q3, most likely. Uh, and it's prior to that when we expect to have that 
initial 43-101 resource estimate in hand and then published towards the end of Q2, let's, let's call it to the end of, end of May. Uh, so that, that's primarily and principally what that funding was for. As you work towards the 43-101, will you be doing some drilling now or saving it for after the 43-101 is released and then using that as your guide for further drilling? It, it'll definitely be the latter, Chris, a good question. Uh, we could continue drilling and stepping out from where we are, but we don't think right now that's the wisest uh, approach to getting uh, the most value brought forward the most, the quickest. Uh, so by getting that 43 one in the hand uh, and having the recommendations from that known and understood, um, that's when we'll begin to focus our efforts in drilling. And that would most likely be centered around expanding that existing resource, tightening it up, doing whatever is required to, to, to come out of that. And it's typical in my experience to see that it, that's the quickest way to bring in more ounces and grow it. Uh, ounces that need more tightening, more certainty uh, from drilling. So that would be the focus that as well as continuing to expand that resource to depth right under it. Uh, secondary to that would be uh, in terms of a work plan, stepping out from the existing drilling around uh, that existing resource, expanding and identifying the gold system that we believe it's in, which is uh, something that we believe is much larger than what's been identified so far. And, and how did the, the recent geophysics, uh, you know, grow your, your target base on your, on your large land package? And, and what are you going to do with that uh, information this year? That is uh, another exciting part of our story. It's the other side of the coin is what I like to call it, um, is our regional land package. You're right. It's massive. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, encompasses basically 90% of the entire Lingman Lake Greenstone Belt. Uh, where this uh, Lingman Lake discovery resides. Uh, from that, we were able to complete the airborne geophysics on that entire package in 2021 and in, in the later half. Uh, and uh, from that, we were able to grow our high potential, high value targets uh, for regional, further regional exploration from about seven to over 14. It was a massive jump. Uh, and we, we kind of had a strong feeling that, that the geology was most favorable for that, but to have the data coming in now, starting to layer on um, towards that, that, that belief uh, and underpin that belief geologically with data, uh, it's driving us to continue our regional program throughout this year, uh, starting up again in the summer. We'll be getting on the ground, doing ground-based geophysics, adding some more layers of data, surface sampling, these sorts of things, and uh, compile that quickly to, to help vector where we would begin test drilling uh this year for uh the first steps towards what we hope to be additional discovery or discoveries that's a great update uh thanks robert i was speaking with robert vallis from signature resources uh the ticker is sgu on the tsx venture exchange uh, again thanks for your time today robert You're most welcome chris thank you